relatives and stuff like that and you know everything I've been through like I never thought that um, I would be uh, you know even getting married and um, not only that um, I don't know I got a, a, a great is not even a you know a good word to explain like what Tim is to me and um, I really held out for the right person and like in this society it's hard to you know get older and you know people are saying you know you're getting older when you're going to get married and not trying to succumb to that pressure and um, lower your standard mm -hmm. and somebody told me that I told somebody the qualities that I wanted in a man and they told me that it didn't exist and that I would be alone with a bunch of cats. Mm. I made sure I invited that person to the wedding. <laughs> um, I don't know, God told me that he was going to give me a gentleman and um, he just I don't know, it still doesn't feel, it hasn't really sunk in, even though we've been together for so long, it hasn't really sunk in that, you know, peace proposed and we're moving on together because I really didn't expect to uh, get married or be spending my life with somebody. So um, you guys have been part of the journey and seeing us grow. And I thank everybody for, you know, believing in us. And um, a lot of people tell us that they admire us. Um, for um, this last week, we went to a high school to talk to young kids on abstinence. And it was nice to be able to go and have a, a male, you know, go with me and show that other half instead of be always going. And to finally be engaged to show young girls that, you know, it does pay off. And at one point when I wasn't engaged, it was kind of like, yeah, but you're not getting married. You're going to be alone. So um, what I would have to say to Tim is, like, thank you for um, not making me be something that I'm not. And, like, loving me despite, of, you know, all of um the things that most people would discard me for. And I told you my story from the beginning because I wanted you to be able to make a, a educated, clear decision on whether or not you wanted somebody like me. And um, I know it's a lot to date somebody that had a lot of surgeries and have health problems. But I thank you for not, like, being discouraged and, and, and staying with me. You, you've stuck with me where a lesser man would have left. And you made a commitment to me before you even asked. You were always committed to me. On the third date, I got admitted into the hospital. And you never left, you know, since that moment. So if you ever doubt that you're not man enough, like please know that a lesser man would never take on the responsibility of finding somebody and seeing their value, even though it may be a little marred or covered with dirt. You still saw my value and always saw me as a treasure. And you took the time to find those scattered pieces and put them back together. And I really appreciate it and I love you. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Um, th this woman is a, a, a true blessing to me. I don't know um, if I, what, what I would do without her. Um, she. Uh, she enriches me every day, mm -hmm. and um, even the times that I'm, that I'm not with her, I, I think about it, it's just her, her love fills my soul. Mm -hmm. I, I, 
I definitely think she is the most caring, wonderful, beautiful, gorgeous woman I've ever seen <laughs> in my life, other than my mother and my aunt. <laughs> <laughs>